To reset the domain admin password under Windows 2012 Server using Active at Password Changer, there are a few things you need to have ready. First, you need to make sure you have local access to the domain controller. You need to have Active at Boot Disk with Active at Password Changer. You need the application nssm.exe, which will install and register services. This is a free program by Leon Patterson and can be found at nssm.cc. You will need a batch file set underscore admin command. This is to activate and set the administrator's password and can be downloaded at password-changer.com slash downloads slash admin tools dot zip. Or you can access a link through the Activate Password Changer user guide, which is found at password-changer.com slash domain dash admin dash password dot htm. With all materials gathered, we will start by booting the server with Activate Boot Disk. Once Activate Boot Disk is running, launch the password changer to unlock the local administrator's account and reset its password. Create a temporary folder on the Windows Server system disk. For example, my server is in a V drive, so I will create a folder called temp in the location v semicolon forward slash temp. In more traditional server settings, this might be a C drive instead of a V drive. You use whatever is appropriate to your system. In that temporary folder, I will copy the files nssn.exe and set underscore admin.cmd. And finally, I will copy the file command.exe from the Windows System32 folder into that temp folder. With the temp folder ready and the administrator count unlocked, restart Windows 2012 Server in Directory Services Repair Mode. Press F8 at the machine startup and choose Directory Services Repair Mode. This disables Active Directory. When the login screen appears, log on as the local administrator. You will have full access to the computer and its resources, but you will not be able to make any changes to Active Directory. Install Domain Administrator's Password Changing Command as service. To do this, we will find command.exe, right-click on it, and click Run as Administrator. Change the directory to your temp folder, in my case, v semicolon slash temp, and type in the command nssm dash 32 or 64, depending on your system, space, install, space, and then create a name. For example, password change. When that's finished, hit enter. And this will open the NSSM service installer. In this application tab, we want to fill out the path. In my case, v semicolon backslash temp backslash command.exe to point to that command.exe file we put in the temp folder. And don't forget, yours might be C. In the startup directory, we will point to that temp folder. And then in the arguments box, we will type in forward slash k space set underscore admin dot cmd space and then enter the new password that you would like to use for the administrator account. The new password must correspond to the local security policy password rules, such as seven character minimum and must contain small and capital letters, digits, and specific symbols. Otherwise, this will not work. Now let's go to the details tab. In the details tab, under startup type, make sure it says automatic. In the Login tab, select the Local System Account and make sure Allow Service to Interact with Desktop has been clicked. After all that's been done, click Install Service. And since our process has been successful, we receive our pop-up window. From here, you can now restart the Windows Server and wait for the login screen. 
You will not see a command prompt running the net user command as it's displayed on another desktop, but don't worry, the command is still executed in the background. Go ahead and log in as an administrator on your domain by using the password you just set. This should grant you access. If not, go back to step two and check that you did not mistype any commands or values. When the system is on, you have full access to your domain resources and don't forget to uninstall your new temporary service. To do that, run a command prompt as administrator and set the current folder as C, or in my case V, semicolon slash temp, and then type in NSSM space remove space the name you gave the file, such as password change, and then hit enter. For more information about Active at Password Changer, please go to www.password-changer.com.